The Nutmeg's Curse is written by Amitav Ghosh. The book has won the highest literary award of India, Jnanapit, for the year 2018. Since the 18th century, the ideology of conquest has been built on the belief that white Europeans are the superior to the natives in intelligence, culture and language. These theories have been deeply imbibed and spread over the mankind over centuries and further strengthened by poets, philosophers and thinkers and manifested as part of the colonial zeitgeist. Ghost traces our contemporary planetary crisis directly back to the discovery of New World and the sea routes to the Indian Ocean. The dynamics of today's climate changes are rooted in a centuries-old geopolitical order constructed by Western colonialists. Human history has always been entangled with earthly materials such as spices, tea, sugarcane, opium and fossil fuels. The history of nutmeg is one of the conquests and exploitation of both human life and the natural environment. The origin and the original place of nutmeg is Indonesian islands, precisely Banda Island. Nutmeg has gained the most commercial importance in Western societies that just a handful of nutmegs could buy a house. Ghosh begins his story with Indonesia, Banda Island. The general scenario of Banda Island, we could say any other society for that matter, is contrary to the general belief of white supremacy and intelligence. The Bandanese have aristocratic lineages as well as merchant families that possess great wealth and many servitors. It is a combative society, divided into walled settlements that sometimes fight pitched battles against each other. But no single settlement or family has ever subdued the entire archipelago. The islanders seem to have a deep-seated distaste for centralized unitary rule. In 17th century, where the colonial power of East India Company has massacred the Bandanese chiefs mercilessly. Extermination of people lasted for 18 years. It has not left a vestige of their language or peculiar customs remaining. All this has happened to bring the nutmeg from east to west. Ghosh believes that living beings have a vital force. Native Americans believed that their landscapes were alive and treated them as Gaia. Gaia is the concept in which earth is the mother of everything in nature like plants, seas, mountains, planets and stars. But Western colonial thinking viewed nature as a resource for humans to devour, exploit for their own interests. Climate changes are multifaceted, though the Western discussions mostly focus on scientific, technological and economic aspects, leaving the most important things like geopolitical aspects. Making his point in the backdrop of pandemic and the Black Lives Matter protests, Ghosh discusses the historical facts that connect our shared colonial histories with the deep inequalities we see around us today. Ghosh had beautifully interwoven various facts like animistic spirituality of the indigenous communities around the world, global history of the oil trade and the migrant crisis, so on and so forth. The Nutmeg's Curse is a sharp critic of colonialism and Western society and speaks to the profoundly remarkable ways in which human history is shaped by non-human forces. All said and done, The Nutmeg's Curse is the most compelling and timely work.